All right, so we're continuing uh, with the third installment of a review of Jan's video, and uh, I am about halfway through um, this really marvelously conceived project, and uh, I will give a, a, a review of it according to the peer review guide, and I, but I wanted to, um, to talk a little bit about the layout of the project. So um, here she's talking about thousands of ambitious rural students who wouldn't have been able to attend college because of inadequate schooling or previous funds. And so um, you really lay out um, the major details, this formal admissions requirement, minimal tuition, and 10-week terms. All of this stuff is a brilliant kind of layout of the tight moments that uh, that you can then flesh out in a couple of details and maybe these are the places that you can unpack further I would like to see I mean tr so true the connections between uh, what we were doing in community colleges and again um, it may be really useful for us to know something about the students involved and how they uh, and how Mayo affected them. I see certainly a future video that could make use of the, the kind of general themes of students that show up in the, in the uh, memories of old ET. I would love to see someone do that. Uh, a story about any of the individuals that are students here or um, a story about um, kind of the general themes. But Mayo, what a what a what a what a great way in! You've got so much good research. Um, let me go then to the to the various steps of the peer review, and uh, we've got, of course, the required elements. She definitely has at least three communicational modes. Uh, we're still we're not quite done with the video, but it looks like it may be necessary to break it up into more than one project given the. Uh, the limits. We do want this to be tight and short, and and we've really got it. We do have it tight here for sure. Um, some attention to uh, creative rights. It's um, these. I'm I assume might probably be attended to at the very end with credits or something. But there are several places where we can uh, see that these are actually images that represent students here on this campus, and so um, and you highlight that by by letting us see that they, these are graduating classes and and so forth. Um, and that uh, the, the information about creative rights and so forth we can talk about again. The core content is clearly artifacts from the Northeast Texas Digital Collections and uh, there are, is no public domain footage yet, but I think that you're in going to incorporate it and I can see why it would be useful to do that. So uh, I would say there's definitely uh, plenty of evidence of careful planning and composing and, um, and then soon producing, I mean, lots of evidence. This would be a high score. Um, I would, um, I think that the, 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 another draft of your storyboard might enable you to get out the core elements that you really want to get at and, and do some rearrangement even further that might help. Uh, does it teach viewers a great deal about Northeast Texas? For sure. And if it slows down even more and maybe includes a different, a few different kinds of, of, of images, it might even do more than that still. For example, things that really help us see where we are, where the campus is located, um, who the students were likely to be in a very specific sense, maybe even quoting from Memories of Old E.T., um, which I, I, I like that idea more and more, that we've got several students who we can quote from directly and kind of get a sense of the students who would have come. We wouldn't have had access to the stories in Memories of Old E.T., most likely of people who would have been students when Mayo was here, but we certainly can have students who speak to the tradition over time um, and see that. Um, uh, reflective focus on archival research and composing process. Yes, we definitely have that, right? Um, I think that the affordances of audio, video, and images are definitely uh, a use used here, and the documentation will be. Um, I'm thinking that some use of, of media and then maybe a little bit breaking up of the narrative or or maybe some more examples because the denseness of the subject matter is, is so... Is so um, uh, difficult um, in a few different ways. I'll move on to the narrative elements in the next uh, review or next phase of the review.